Jeez. We're just gonna leave it open. So we're gonna start at the shoulder, right in the middle of the shoulder, trace across the front of the neck, down our shoulder seam down the neck, down the center front, make sure I know where my bust line is. I'm gonna trace to the fold line of this dart. I'm going to leave the dart open. I'm going to start tracing on the waistline on the other side. Then trace up to the bottom of my bust dart. Now I'm closing my bust dart. See how I told you I get it wrong all the time. Now we're going to finish tracing the arms eye and across the shoulder to the mark we made on the sloper. So when we are finished, we're going to have an open end down here at the waist. Down here at the waist, we have an open end. Up here at the top, we have an open end. We have no bust dart. Okay. I do need to know where your bust point is, which if you've pivoted well with your pencil, you'll have a pencil mark there in the first place. And now you're done with your sloper. It can go away. Before you do anything else though, you need to draw on your circle. Because we're gonna use your circle as a benchmark to help us get the princess lines in the correct place. So just have your circle be the diameter of your bust circle. Draw your circle on there. It doesn't have to be super dark and aggressive. You just need to know where it is. Then using your ruler, you're gonna find the midpoint of this opening and the midpoint of the waist opening. You good? Oh, yeah. On the center front part, you're gonna start at the opening of the dart and you're gonna draw a straight line to your bust point. And you're gonna draw a straight line from your bust point to the dart opening at the waist closest to the center front. Two straight lines. And your center front piece is finished, other than it's gonna need seam allowance. And you can't seam allowance until we finish this piece and you decide how you want the look to be. Okay? So now on your center, on your front side piece, we're gonna come from the opening of your shoulder dart and we're gonna draw a line to where it intersects if it were to intersect the bust point, so you're gonna line up your ruler from edge of shoulder to bust point, but you're gonna stop drawing at the circle. Does that make sense? And then same thing down here on this side. Go from the edge of the opening of the waist dart, line your ruler up with a bust point, but stop drawing at the edge of your bust circle. Then you're gonna use some kind of a curve, a French curve, a ruler, something, and you're gonna connect this line and the bust point and this line. 
it just works out to be just a nice little curve. Like that. Now before you cut it apart, notice that you have a straight line and a convex curved line that you are going to have to now sew these together and get them to match. This is all gonna be on bias and it's gonna stretch and be crazy and do crazy things to you. So you need to make sure you have notches and the best place to have notches is straight across at the same time. So I do that while my pieces are still attached. I'm like, oh look, a notch right here, that'd probably be a good place. Oh, right here, a notch right there, that'd probably be a good place. Then I need grain lines, my grain lines need to match. So, you know, if I line up my ruler, I'm like, oh, that looks like a good grain line. That looks like a good grain line. Then I have parallel grain lines on either side that are going the same direction. Cause as soon as you cut these out, these pieces aren't gonna look like they're going in the same direction. And it's gonna be hard to make sure you've got them the same. So now you would cut out this piece. This becomes a front side piece or a side front piece. You'd cut out this piece. This becomes your center front piece. And you need to think about your aesthetic. Is this one going on the fold? Are you having a seam up the front? Traditionally, you see the center front piece on a fold and this piece you cut too. But I've seen this one a cut too and this one a cut too, especially if you're putting a closure down the front. So it just depends on what your aesthetic's gonna be. Go ahead and lay 